Irish mythology is a unique part of Ireland's culture. These tales are passed on from generation to generation, but are sometimes still referenced in everyday life. These creatures are weird, wonderful and terrifying. Here are 10 of the Celtic legendary creatures. The Abhartok, or the Irish Vampire, is considered as the scariest of the many Irish mythology creatures or monsters. He was once a magical Irish tyrant, who enforced great cruelties on his people. Thankfully, he was killed and buried standing up. However, the relief was not long lasting. The next day, he emerged from the grave, using his magical powers, more cruel and vicious than ever. The Apartok has been known to drink the blood of his victims. Some say that he is the inspiration behind Dracula. There is only one way to stop the Apartok, you must kill him, and bury him upside down. The Banshee, is one of the better known of the many Irish mythological creatures, mainly due to the popularity of storytelling in Irish culture. The Banshee is a female spirit who can appear in many forms. She can be an old woman with frightening eyes, a pale lady in a white dress, or a beautiful woman wearing a shroud. Some stories say the Banshee can appear as a crow, weasel or stoat, all animals of witchcraft. The Banshee is considered an omen of death, and the fear of every Irish child. The sighting or the sound of this ominous character's cry, is a prediction of death. Regardless of how she looks, it's her wail that sends shivers up the spine of many, as it signals impending doom. Eat. Another Irish death omen, the Dullahan, is a headless man riding a black horse wearing a black cape. In his left hand, he holds a human spine for a whip, and in the right, he holds his grinning head. The Dullahan rides to the area in which the death will take place, and calls the name of the soon-to-be deceased. The Dullahan holds his head up high in any direction, in order to observe the death. Dullahans do not take kindly to onlookers. If a Dullahan catches you looking, he will either blind you in one eye using his whip, or cover you in blood. There have been countless local reports of Dullahan sightings right before a death. Fear Gortas, appear as walking corpses. With their protruding bones, deathly skinniness, bluish skin and rotting flesh, they truly are a terrifying sight. They wander during famine, asking whoever they encounter for food. Those who give the fear Gorta food, are rewarded with lifelong wealth and prosperity, those who do not, will suffer bad luck and poverty. The moral of the story is to always share. There is another story stating that the fear Gorda, is a cursed patch of grass above a grave, and anyone who steps on it, is cursed with eternal hunger. If this hunger is not met with food, the person will die. Six. Kelpies are evil water spirits, who haunt rivers and lakes. They often appear as a foal or horse, with a perpetually soaking wet mane. Their cute disheveled appearance, attracts people, often children to get onto their backs. Once the poor rider is on the back, the kelpie skin becomes adhesive and traps its victim. The kelpie then rides into the water, drowning their victim. They eat the victim leaving only the heart and liver. Kelpies have been known to appear as incredibly handsome men, and less commonly, beautiful women. Kelpies can be trapped on land in human form, if a person steals and hides their silver bridle. There are many stories of women marrying Kelpies in human form. This story is often used by Irish parents, to keep children away from the water. A changeling is believed to be the replacement of a human child, stolen by fairies. This could be either a fairy's baby, an elderly fairy in disguise, or an object made to look like an infant by fairy magic. Fairy births were said to often result in deformation. As adult fairies are obsessed with beauty, they will try to swap their child with a human baby. Changelings all have old wrinkled yellow skin, and screech all day and night. They feed on good fortune, and find joy in disaster striking their adopted family. Truly, any parent's nightmare. As changelings grow, they are drawn towards instruments. 
They have a mesmerizing skill, causing anyone who hears them play to become entranced. The Leprechaun is arguably the best known of the many Celtic creatures, mainly due to its association with Ireland, and the quirky tale attached to it. Before becoming a mascot for Street Patrick's Day and all other things Irish, the Leprechaun was originally a shoe cobbler. Many dress up as this infamous character, using fake ginger beards and green top hats. In Irish folklore, these elf-like creatures are tricksters who cannot be trusted, and will deceive you whenever possible. Often seen as a symbol of luck, the leprechaun collects gold and hides it at the end of a rainbow. If you see him, he must grant you three wishes before he can be released. However, use these wisely. He may try to trick you. The Far Derek is a leprechaun's evil twin. Their name translates to Red Man, which is apt as they wear a red cape and hat. They are gruesome practical jokers, and carry a human-sized burlap sack, ready to kidnap people with. They trap their victims in a room, and use their ventriloquist skills, to project inhuman noises around their victims. Their most terrifying noise is the laugh of a dead man. Far Derricks have also been connected to the stealing of human babies, to be replaced with changelings. They are associated with nightmares and find delight in terror. The Puka, is the most feared type of Irish fairy. They are violent tricksters who emerge solely at night. Pukas often take the form of a black horse, who stampede at night trampling fences, properties, and crops. If chickens or cows see a puka, they will be too traumatized to produce eggs, or milk for weeks. Like many other Irish folklore creatures, different areas of Ireland claim that pukas have different forms. In County Wexford, pukas are said to take the form of large dark eagles, while in Laois, pukas take the form of a terrifying boogeyman character. Pukas are shapeshifters. While they take the form of a horse to wreak nighttime destruction, they will take the form of a goblin to claim a share of the harvest. Farmers would often leave a share of their harvest in their fields, as the pukas share in an attempt to appease them. This Celtic mythological creature is best described as a mermaid in appearance. Like many Celtic creatures, the marrow has incredible powers, and it is able to reside on land, or at the depths of the ocean. The marrow is said to be half fish, from the waist down, and half beautiful woman, from the waist up. And according to legends, is friendly and modest. The word marrow comes from the Irish words mir, meaning sea, and oi, meaning maid. Marrow men are hideously ugly male sea creatures, whereas the female of the species, marrows, are strikingly beautiful. The marrow's ability to travel in water, is gained from her clothing which again, varies from region to region. Some say her abilities come from a red feathered cap, while others claim it comes from a sealskin cape. Either way, for her to walk on land, she must abandon her cap or cape. If a man finds and hides these garments, the marrow is forced to become his wife, and she cannot return to the ocean. Marrows are desirable brides with their extreme beauty, and riches collected from the ocean floor. However, as soon as she finds her garments again, she is overwhelmed by the urge to return to the sea, and will leave her husband and children. Many families claim to be descended from marrows and trapped by fishermen. <laughs>